Welcome back, YouTube, to another video. Today is a day going through, um, kind of showing off uh, the Discord again, but what's a topic that just appealed last night? The universe tested me again to. Okay, you're questioning whether or not you're a light worker. Well, here's a new topic for you to discuss. And, well, right now this is just the beginning of the server update. So I'm going to do a little server update. Uh, server update. This, oh yeah, this is, well, let me back up. First of all. Part one of the video is talking about where do I stand and then I found all these memes on Instagram and then I shelled it into the Discord server. Thus combining the two servers from Damon and my light worker topics. If that is making sense. Yes, I said in episode one I was going to have them separate. In episode two I combined them. Episode 3 is showing you well it combined. So a seed, um, planting a seed, the seed is there even though you might not be aware of it. Um, well, th um, basically this is always in the back of my mind. At times, I was not ready to heal a message until later. It's very hard for me to explain. The seed was there all along, even though I was not aware of it. Doesn't mean it's not there. You just cannot see what you planted until it grows. Um, basically, I had many events in my life, well, I couldn't see the answer until I grew up more or I walked further down my path. It's very hard to explain. Um, never suppress yourself. This is how I have been healing uh, through the, that trauma. Um, always release it. I release it by talking aloud to either the two voices on my aura, whether or not that is even true. It just says, hey, I'm talking aloud. It is helping me, even if it's not on mic. I talk on mic. It helps. I talk aloud. It helps even when I am not on microphone. This has been coming up a lot uh, lately, ever since I started seeing the sequence 11, 11, 11, and followed by all the other number sequences. Have you ever looked into the mirror for too long and start thinking, damn, am I really in this bitch? <laughs> am I really this person? And kind of hits home. I have b seen this before, not the meme, but to myself, before I started to awake to know about mirror magic. Um, yeah, that, okay. Uh, basically, this is what I was. This is a sheeple example of what not to do and what I learned. Basically, single at any age. This didn't say at 23 because this happened to me prior and I'm not even 29 yet and I already learned this lesson. If it's meant to be, it will happen not before I stopped I have to 
find someone. Now I am let them find me, even if I continue to meet the wrong types of people, which I continue to do. This is basically what we should all do. The people in your life should uplift you, not drag you down. Rise into five D. Have the people around you keep you there. Four D, five D. Not three D. A lot of people cause more stress, more harm to you than what it's worth. Cut these people out. Um, this is a two-way street, basically. Um, when you have a good heart, you help too much, you trust too much, you give too much, you love too much, and it always seems you hurt the most. However, it's um. That's what makes me me. Even though I don't really trust right away, I don't really care right away. But when I do, I'm all in. Before I really know you, I'm kind of skeptical, if you will. I know I will attract bad people because I am good. Because I am a light worker. We do not attract only good people. A lot of people think good attracts good. What if you attract evil? What if you attract monsters instead? You can't just tell me you attract only one type of people. You will attract many different kinds. So become a will, and cut out the toxic people who you do attract. As they say, moths to a flame. For me, I personally know when to cut off, cut the toxic people out of my life. I am a warrior of light, and even in my darkest hour, I am still alive, even when I have lost it all. I keep going even when I don't want to anymore. Even when I lose all sight, somehow I am still here, breathing. My mission is not done; is not over. This as goes back to、um, where I stand as a light worker, going through that trauma. I. As I said, the game literally broke me, and I wanted nothing to do anymore with it. And physically, I wanted to escape back to the astral. However, I know I can never stop being a light worker, even if I lose all feeling and unsure. I still produce content and sell my thoughts, no matter what happens to me. I bounce back slowly. This is what I offer to the world, as I make lots of different content. I will figure out how to mingle my light worker brain into the games I play. And then it hits me: What if I already did? Then I I shared、uh, this. The audio I used was from the first video I made from my light workers, and I told you how how I did it. Does this count as counting the two being combined? Maybe, possibly. I don't know because it's kind of hard for me to just. Playing a let's play and you you try to be a light worker. It's kind of for me at least. It's light worker one subject only. I can't do both unless I do one thing first, then swap out the audio. 
But yeah, that was part one of this video. Really? My cat. Um, uh, general chat, we had new people, I added this, uh, because the, this was a, a mess, <laughs> to be honest, so, yeah. The ending, part one of the video, my cat is totally distracting me right now. I will see you in part two of this video. Part one was just a recap of where I stood as a light worker and a little bit of server updates. Um, the journey from what it was and what it is now. So we have uh, promote, add some stuff here. I added some more. Uh, basically, nothing else has been really changed except for the um, the yeah, nothing, nothing else. So yeah, until part, I will see you in part two, part one. Recap of where I stood as a light worker and showing server updates. Uh, why not? <laughs> I notice I keep saying that a lot. 